How are you feeling about the chat, Sitch? Not good. This reminds me of all the other times. Looking for a chat with... You come out with great optimism, and then by then you're just like, Oh, where is it? You gotta get up, little buddy. You wore your yellow. I did. Bless you. Hey everyone, we're going out west today looking for a couple of birds that were found at a dog training site. One of them is Bell's Vireo, which is rare for our part of the woods, and also present is the bird that we really want to see, which is a yellow-breasted chat, which has eluded both of us for a while now, especially this man. You've seen one. I haven't even seen one. There was one in Bender Park in Milwaukee a few years ago, and I went there. I went to try and find it like six times. And I did find a northern mockingbird. That's probably like one of the rarest things I ever found on my own, but still no chat. And uh, like between the times I went, people had still reported it. But whenever I went, it was never there. So we both wore yellow because we've been having good luck. We wear the color of the bird we want to see. So hopefully that'll continue. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. We have a nemesis bird situation that we're looking to resolve today. The bells is fine. I've, I've seen those. With summer set to begin and the leaves now forming a cloak of greenery, we knew we would have to rely on our sense of hearing to find these birds that both make distinctive noises. All right, let's see what we've got here in terms of sounds of the chat. Here we go. Yeah, it doesn't sound happy. Would you know that if you heard it in the field? I would call that a chat, yeah. Let's take a look at the bells then. That makes a cheetle, cheetle, chee, cheetle, cheetle, chew call. Don cheetle call. Yep. It's very definitive. We literally just got here, and Rye was like, I hear the bells be real. So I think it's just right over this way. You see it? The bells vireos were extremely vocal, but reluctant to show themselves completely. Eventually, they came out in the open. The Bell's Vireo is a boisterous bird at home in dense brush and thickets. Their normal range extends from the middle of the United States down into Central America. Both males and females are pale olive green, brown, and white, and they are most easily identified by song. The Bell's Vireo was first described by John James Audubon in 1843, and he named it after his friend John Graham Bell, a taxidermist who was with him during his expedition. Bell's vireos feed mostly on insects, spiders, and berries, and it is thought that they receive most of their moisture from food, as one has never been seen drinking water. Nests are selected by both males and females, and are typically built in a small fork in a tree, approximately three feet off the ground. Pairs of Bell's vireos can sometimes be seen foraging together. We saw two bells already. I'm glad we just listened to the call in the car, because it was really easy to pick it up. You can hear it in the background, actually. So we also have good flycatcher activity with uh, the willow and then the gray crested. And then you can still hear the bells videos calling, but we don't want it to get too late, so we're gonna see if we can find the chat. There's apparently two of them that were more this way, so we're gonna head over there and see if we can get those. We walked up and down the road, hoping to hear the hoots and whistles of the yellow-breasted chat. The air was filled with calls of the aforementioned willow and gray crested flycatchers. We were even lucky enough to spot a nocturnal raptor testing out its wings. Can you see it? Oh, it's just an owl, isn't it? Yeah, it's a young VHR. Dude, that's so cool. Wants to take off. 
As we continued, we were surprised to find a third bell vireo that called out in the open. But nevertheless, the road did not yield the chat. It makes three at least. There he is. Oh, you see him? Yeah. We just found a third Bell's Vireo, which gave us incredible views. It was calling the entire time, which is awesome. And now we really have to find a chat because that was kind of our main goal for coming out here. We wore the yellow. We need to find one of these guys. During our search, we were able to get great views of a song sparrow and a calling indigo bunting. But with no sign of the chat, team morale was lowering considerably. Started out so hopeful for the chat, and now I'm just kind of sad. We have not seen one of the two yellow breasted chats here, so I think we're gonna try for spring green because this is getting personal now. This bird will not defeat us again. We made the 30 minute drive to Spring Green, a place where another chat had been reported. Spring Green is an ecological anomaly in the state, consisting of many plants and animals at home in desert habitats. Its scrubby sands and oak forests make it the perfect place for a yellow-breasted chat. Are you hopeful? No. <laughs> Have you given up all hope? I haven't given up. It's just, it's gonna be a hike into spring green. It's not gonna be that long. The worst yeah, part is it's... gonna be the bugs. We just talked to a lady who said that she just had the chat not too long ago. So hopefully it's still there singing. We've got a ways to go though. We walked with haste, wanting to find the bird while it was still singing. We crossed the open desert and into the woods, listening as we walked. Yeah, that's him, that's him, that's him, that's him. It's very loud. After looking in multiple counties, over a length of not only hours and days, but also over a span of several years, we finally laid eyes on the elusive bird we'd been searching for, the yellow-breasted chat. It's amazing. He's so cool. I love all his little vocalizations, and he does this, like, head movement thing, too. The yellow rye paid off. I go watch him all day. The yellow-breasted chat is a large songbird with a long tail, large head, and thick bill. Males and females are colored with shades of olive green to gray brown on their head and back, with a yellow throat and stomach, white lower belly, and white eye ring and striping near the face. During breeding season, their range spreads throughout most of the United States, and they overwinter in Central America. Yellow-breasted chats prefer areas with dense brush and are most easily seen during spring when males perch up and make a variety of interesting noises that have been described as whistles, chuckles, gurgles, hoots, clucks, chatters, and cackles. With the exception of males singing in the spring, the birds are rarely seen. The yellow-breasted chat nests in low vegetation and feeds mostly on insects, spiders, and fruits. Another cool thing that I notice is the, like, almost enlarge their throat like a frog when they're calling, which is so weird. I've never seen a bird do that. Probably the closest is like a bittern or something. He's so cool with all his different vocalizations and stuff. And he's, he's big and beefy, so he's easier to find than other, like, he's way easier to find than warblers. We finally got the yellow-breasted chat. After all that work, he's all a those misses. He's a beaut. He's a weirdo. <laughs> Definitely a weirdo. Coming here was a great idea. I was like, I want to see the chat today, and I want you to see the chat. And we did it. We achieved our goal. He's still up there. He's still, he's sitting on the top of that branch. Thinks he's the king of the world. He is king of this territory. He just chased off an indigo bunting a minute earlier. Like that's any big feat. It is. Very but it's cool, way more huh? blue than he is. <laughs> Hard to pull yourself away, isn't it? It sure is. The only thing that's making me pull myself away is the fact there's tons of flies out here, and I am ready to get out of it. He's right up there. Tippity top. Excited about our finds, but ready to leave the bugs in heat, we left Spring Green, feeling great about our sightings, including the Bells Vireos and the elusive yellow-breasted chat. 
It's an amazing feeling to finally see a bird after so many misses, and even better when you can find it in a unique location such as Spring Green. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. The chat search continues. Bird is the worst. How are you feeling about the chat search? Not good. This reminds me of all the other times. Looking for a chat with... You come out with great optimism, and then by then you're just like, oh, where is it? I feel nervous. Don't be nervous. They seem like they always elude us. It's just me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah. That chat excitement. <laughs>